We have from Indonesia, Kido and Santuan versus Malaysia, Chung and Lee. And there you go, the coaches from Malaysia that you have Rexy, former player from Indonesia and in 1996 gold medalist at the Olympic Championships. Well, they show me, you know your stuff, definitely. And we're off. First game, love all. Indonesia to serve. Shami, I don't know if you saw that. It was service call on Mark Marcus Kiddo on the very first save, first serve <laughs> of the match. That was a bit of a surprise. We might see a lot of them then if it's coming right off the right off the first serve. Look at the service judge. He's watching very carefully. That was in. Great smash down. Took him by surprise down the middle. Right, and the Indonesians really looking to push the pace up and uh, play into a flat game against the Malaysians. Pretty big smash by Chong Tan for down the middle. That's always a good spot to be. Boy, the serves are so important with this rally point now that a lot, a lot more pressure, I think, goes on the, the return of serve as well. Absolutely. See, you know, if, if the return service people put a lot of pressure on the service and then, you know, you tend to nerve up a little bit. <laughs> it's, it just seems like they're just kind of getting used, used to the venue, not, not a lot of long rallies yet, just nope. a little bit nervous. No, yeah, I mean the first eight, nine points, you're not going to see a lot of rallies. People are still trying to get used to each other's style and, uh, you know, feel around the court a little bit. <laughs> oh, and I think he was thinking it was going to go out, but it stayed in. Stayed it in. And there you see already the power. bit confusing. Good rally. Lots of, a lot of great gra drives, but I think he r rushed the net a little bit too he quick. He rushed the net a little bit too quickly, and his partner wasn't able to, you know, anticipate what he was trying to do. Oh. I mean, believe it or not, Chong Tan Fu scored a lot of smash winners today. Normally, he's the guy in the front, sets things up for Li Wan Hua in the back. He's the guy doing all the banging in the back today. I did up at seven all. Whoa, another service fault. You're right, already two already. Two in this game. Oh, the score is very close. Nine all. Nine all. But not so, so not a lot of long, long rallies. It's all about few few rallies and uh, makes mistake and uh, the other party scores a point. 
A lot of service mistakes already. <laughs> now we go 11-10 with a 90-second break. Uh, it went pretty quickly, this first part of the fir first game. And there's Rexy giving some good advice. I'm sure his advice is good. <laughs> and there you have it, just five minutes for know, 11 points, 11-10. Very short, you know, a lot of quick rallies in the not too many, um, you know, long rallies, you know, as both teams are still trying to get used to each other. And there you have clear winner, winners for Indonesia, 4-1. Net winners ahead again, 1-0. And smash winners go to Malaysia, 3-0. I think all three smash winners scored by Chong Tan Fook <laughs> in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he kind of held the flick a little bit. I don't think he really liked that. The nope, but uh, unfortunately, still part of the game. <laughs> they really fired the Li Wan Hua up. Kevin, so bigger guys obviously in doubles and in, in singles. You know, you you played both. You played singles and doubles. You don't get a lot of men doing singles and doubles. What what's the difference between the two? Well, it's the games play totally different. Um, obviously, my singles doubles, but d doubles obviously takes uh, two people to win a game and to win a match, and it takes a lot of teamwork, tremendous amount of uh, communication um, to get things done. But singles, you really just uh, you know do everything yourself. But doubles playing at the quicker pace, a lot of drive, not too much of clears. You, you see a lot of you know, drive, a lot of smash, a lot of net plays, but in singles, sometimes you have to do some clear shots to set yourself up, position yourself well. But doubles, everyone try to, you know, hit that on a smash first. 13, 15. Uh, I mean, uh, obviously, the longer you play, the, b the better you, you get used to each other. Communication. One is stronger at the back, you just keep going at it. Well, I think the communication is the number one thing in, in, in between two, two uh, doubles team, uh, even men's doubles, women's doubles, and the mixed doubles. Two people, in order for two people to really play well, they really need to communicate well on the court. You know, they know um, in wh wherever your, your, your partner makes a mistake, you have to really, you know, just cheer him out and uh, encourage him and uh, to be a good listener at times and uh, to be able to form a doubles team. Like Chong Tan Fu and Li Wan Hua, they've been playing for 12, 13 years. You know, it takes tremendous amount of communication to play this long. <laughs> no, unforced error. Indonesia up 17-15. Seems like a lot of back and forth, not, not a lot of good rallies quite yet. It's a lot of serving mistakes and the, the pressures on the serve. Well, I think the new rally score system has really shortened the rallies even more. In doubles, it was the rallies is, is, is very short already, but at 21 points, nobody wants to play around long rallies. They are trying to take over the net and score some quick points to get to that 20, magic tw number of 21. <laughs> That was a little bit of a missed hit by uh, Kiddo. Trying to make the net shot a little bit too tight. Neither of them want to give up the lift.
Nobody wants to do that. See that? He is just going to try to make a perfect shot. Causes the mistake. <laughs> a little wow. help from the net, I think, on that shot. Oh, Indonesia, 1918. You do whatever it takes to win. You know, it's all part of the game. <laughs> Roll over the net. If you can do that 21 times, you win a game. And game point, 2018 for Indonesia. Another match, uh, game point, 2019. <laughs> <laughs> and tied it up, 20 all. In two. the new scoring system, you have to win by two. You have to win by two, and uh, that was very, that was two very bad mistakes by the Indonesian team. Get. Oh, and just <laughs> long. That was better, better rally this time. And uh, there's a little bit of drift coming this way, so that's why the Malaysians, their lift was a little bit long. Game point. Oh, nice <laughs> shot to finish it off. 22-20 for Indonesia. The score is really close, but, uh, you know, not too many long rallies. And there you have it, 22, 20 in 12 minutes. I think you'll see a lot of uh, unforced errors on the serves and... And there you have it, Harry Imar from Indonesia. Smash winners go to Malaysia, six to one. Net winners, Indonesia, two one. Clear winners, seven to three for Indonesia. And unforced errors, Malaysia wins at 12 to 10. That's not the one to win. That's the difference. And consecutive points, it was three all. The Malaysians needs to hang in there the last couple of points. And instead of uh, rushing it, you know, they need to be, uh, you know, telling each other we, we need to be patient, you know, not to rush anything. They rushed the last two shots. They came back to 20. It was a great job. But they did the, ne the next two shots, they rushed it, and uh, they lost the next two points. It still comes down to enforce errors, and uh, they need to uh, be playing their game, which they've been doing it the entire first set. Second game. Second game. One. Kilo okay, is very fast. And down the middle with the smash. Two, one. Giving up the lift a little bit too easy. Giving the Indos a better attack. Yeah, Indo is winning the attack battle this game. <laughs> Too fast. They are just fast. They just took over the net. Look at that replay. They jumped all over. You know, didn't give the Malaysians any chance. History of both Indonesia and Malaysia, they always have great men's doubles teams. You're right, and uh, they've been battling against each other all these years. Indonesia is taking the lead, 5-1. And just saw that, just Hendra Santiago just anticipates so well, you know, right after serve, he rushed to the net. Almost he knows that uh, Chung Tang is going to play a net shot. 
Oh. <laughs> Great defense, but not enough there. Shabe, I've noticed that Indonesia teams, uh, the Indonesian team has picked up the pace a little bit in the second game. It seems to, but it's, it's still a little bit trying to make yeah. a few mistakes here and there. And yeah. Oh, he's not sure about the call. He wants it to be out, but the yeah. linesman calls it in. Very determination, you know. That's uh, very determined. Oh, that's a hard angle to tell. Right. It comes so quick. I mean, a lot of the lines judges, I wouldn't want to be one. You always have to be on the ball. I know. That's uh, that's very tough on them. I mean, I have to admit, even I'm doing it, you know, I, I can't see everything. I, Oh, there you go. Nice power from it, Chung. It's great rotation by Chong Tan for Li Wan Hua. Is, uh, you know, Li Wan Hua rotating to the net, just sets the forehand left-handed for Chong Tan Fu Xie. He comes in, and Chong Tan in the back, bang, put away. A little bit of mind games on the serve. They're trying to throw each other off. Indonesia up 9-3. I mean, I think the Indonesians are winning the net battle. Don't you think, Shaman? They are. They're, they're getting the short lift. Short lift. And good net, and then they're looking net. for the short lift. Oh, and then they just turn it around. <laughs> well, they can't hear us. You know, I guess they can hear what we were saying. <laughs> The Malaysians really need to pick up right here. Oh, and down the middle. 11 4 on the break. 90 second break. 11 4 into the replay, and they caught them in the middle, and another smash down to the middle area, and the Chong, Chong Tan Fuck was not able to retrieve that shot. So here's a look, 11 to 4, Indonesia is leading, just 10 points away from winning the match. And let's take a look at some of the stats. We have smash winners, pretty even, 10-9 for Malaysia. Net winners, Indonesia, 2-1. Clear winners, 7 to 3. And unforced errors, Malaysia wins at 15 to 10. Consecutive points, Indonesia, 7 to 3. I just feel when I switched, now we switched to the new scoring system and the doubles game just became, you know, much quicker. I mean, not too much rally. Everything is bam, 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 bam. You know, it's uh, two or three points, two or three rallies, and you score a point. There was, there was a game the other day. It went up to 29-27, the French and the German team. It was very exciting right to the very end in the third game. I heard about that game. That's that's very very exciting. Twenty nine to twenty seven. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, and a nice smash. Well, they, they just don't know what to do. Uh, they 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 totally lost and uh, you know Indonesian team has full control of the game right now just seems like they can't get into a routine I've seen them play many of times they're all excited they're up and going and attack really well it just seems like they're not into their game rate at this moment well when you look at it um, both Chong, Chong Tan for Li Wan Hua 30 and 31 and uh, the Indonesians in their you know early 20s and uh, I don't know if it's fatigue plays a big part they were playing the full speed against, the, you know, they were able to play that speed against the Indonesian team the first game, but second game, they were just not able to cope with the speed. 16 to 5. 
a long way, to, 17 to 5, excuse me, long way to come back. Did you say you picked the Malaysians to win this game? <laughs> <laughs> There you go, yeah. smashing straight down the line. I think it's Fu from China that has a, the strongest smash in the world, 208 miles an hour, but I think these guys can also hit pretty close to that. Very, yep. <laughs> oh, there's uh -huh. another net roll. Well, you know, Indonesians, you know, they, they are very good at playing those, uh, you know, slashing game, you know, quick net plays, and they block it very well, and, uh, you know, no one really can play with them. 7-19. Well, 7-19, Malaysia has a long way to go catch up. Should I give you a chance to let you change your bet? <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch? A little bit of sweat on the court. And there's Kiddo. He's 23 years old. Looks very determined. <laughs> Change of a call, I think, and let it out. Lee's serving very well right now. Very confident when he gets up there. With the replay. Oh, it's great return, but it was just a little long. Yeah. Hey, turn the, turn the switch on. A little bit late, though, I think. 10-19. 10-19. Just a little bit late, but uh, I believe they scored like four or five points in a row already. Well, it's hard for anyone to come back with that big of a gap. Hit the net again and match point, 2010. Oh, and that's a game, 22-20, 21-10 to Indonesia. And there you have it, only 22 minutes for the whole match. First game, 22-20. And 21-10. Definitely very disappointing for the Malaysian team as this is their last chance. And here you see some stats. Smash winners, it was tie 11 all. Net winners go to Indonesia up to 2-1. Two to one. Clear winners, 8-3. to three. And unforced errors, I think that made a big difference. Malaysia had 22 and Indonesia 15. Most consecutive points, 7-4.